Okay, this is... Uh, I got a lot of things to explain to you, but before that, let's just start the game. Okay, so welcome to uh, Hollow Play. Hollow Play is me. Yes. Uh, you can call me Hollow if you want, and I don't want to copy anyone. I just like the name Hollow Play because uh, it's got something to do with my name. Anyways, yes. This is a Let's Play of The Haunted Mansion. The Haunted Mansion. As you can tell, I'm not American. Or freaking from any country that speaks English for that matter. Right. Um, this is not really an official let's play. Well, it is, but it is an official. Let well, before that, let's just watch the uh, introductions, shall we? Okay. This is made by Disney Interactive Studios, I think. Yeah. Danger High Voltage Software. Yes! High voltage software also made this game. This game is haunted. Oh god. There's more. Anyways, yes, this is the Haunted Mansion made by Disney Interactive Studios and uh, High Voltage Software, or whatever. Alright, let's go to the options first. Controls, they should be alright. Mm. Vibration, inventor, look, let's turn this off. On, I mean, yes, just, just because, yeah. Sound should be, yes, music, yes, brightness, um, this is very dark. I uh, don't want it to be too bright, because it might throw the atmosphere off a little bit, but just so it's visible on YouTube, I guess. Yeah, we can leave it like that. Heads up display, yes, let's skip that. Torture Souls, what is this? Ah! The credits. We do not care for the credits. Well, I don't. Not yet, at least. We haven't even started the freaking game. Okay, let's enter. And let's override this, because this was just me. Alright, load game, delete game. We will delete this game, yes. And we can now start a new game over it. Would you like to create? Yes, I would like to create a new game on normal difficulty. Makes sense, doesn't it? Let's watch the intro. As a lifelong author, I have often drawn inspiration for the more chilling of my tales from my own experiences as a young man living in Louisiana after the Civil War. Oh, but the story of Ezekiel Halloway, that I have not dared tell before now. In October of 1879, Zeke was unmarried and ever the dreamer. Years spent in orphanages had taught him nothing if not self-reliance, but the endless struggle to find employment in Increasingly took him beyond the outskirts of New Orleans itself, even into the surrounding unfamiliar countryside. So it was that on this particular cold and dreary afternoon, he found himself at a rather remote and mournful estate, inquiring about the position of assistant caretaker. <coughs> Yeah. 
He certainly looks like a nice young man. Young beggar, more likely by the looks of him. I, beggar or not, we hate in no position to be chosen. Do you think he's ready for something like this? We'll see how it holds up under fire soon enough, I reckon. Enough already. Let us introduce ourselves. That's gonna leave a mark. Hurry now! She will be expecting him. Loading. Yes, that was the intro. It's, it's got ghosts and stuff, this game. It's a, it's a horror platformer game, I guess you can call it. Not really. No way, yeah. Loading screens are weird. I told you he'd be on his feet again in no time. Come, we have done our part for now. She is on her way. Awakened now from troubled sleep, you find yourself where shadows creep. The mansion hides its history, but solve you will this mystery and find the truth that's buried deep Beneath these halls where spirits weep. Oh, I, child, am Madame Leota, speaker of the spirit world, medium of the mysterious, and seeker of things unseen. <laughs> I know why you're here even better than you do yourself. Assistant caretaker it is, and you are Ezekiel, but you prefer Zeke. <laughs> we couldn't just have the newspaper ad read, Wanted, brave soul to rid haunted mansion of evil spirits now, could we? <laughs> if we had, you wouldn't be here now. And the fate of this house and all who dwell within it would be sealed forever. This house was once home to many friendly ghosts, but a powerful, evil man named Atticus Thorne has taken over the estate corrupting the memories of many of the ghosts and turning others into evil spirits to serve his will. Our beloved mansion has become a dark and foreboding place and we are now Thorn's prisoners locked within it. But our hope lies with you, Zeke. We need your help to defeat this evil and to rescue our ghostly friends. An ancient artifact will aid us in this effort. A sacred lantern known as the Beacon of Souls. It is a source of light and power and can be used uh -oh, okay. to battle any All evil right. forces we encounter. Unfortunately, Thorn will also be using his dark magic to try and stop us. He'll be creating magical barriers throughout the mansion and twisting the very rooms themselves until we can turn on the lights and undo his spells. What? Not all of our foes fear the light. It will weaken the lesser evil spirits and force them into hiding. Once found, these shriveled souls can be chased from their hiding places and drawn into the beacon. Here, the soul's corruption will slowly be reversed, returning them to their good and former selves. As the good power of these souls increases in the beacon, their energy will enable us to break down the magical barriers that Thorn has erected. Then, we may gain access to more areas of the mansion. But there is more I have to tell. <clears throat> the primary source of the beacon's power lies in the six sacred gems that adorn it. They are called soul gems. Now, to keep them out of Thorn's hands, I had my ghostly friends hide five of them somewhere in the mansion. And the beacon still has one soul gem in place. This allows it to function, but very weakly. So we must find the other five to restore its power completely. I'm sorry if you find this confusing, Zeke, but I'm afraid we have little time and much to do. I'll ride along in your satchels, so hold it open and I'll just roll... Oh! oh wait. Wait, oh, uh, you don't need to... Fingerprints! Watch the fingerprints! Ah! 
Okay. switch is over there. Use the activate button on the switch to light up the room. Can we play now? Yes, we can play now. Okay, so this is Seek. Uh, something. I forgot his last name. All we need to know is that his name is Seek, so we can call him something. Alright, so uh, basically this is a... Uh, Kind of like a horror platforming game. It's not really scary, it's just yes, horror material. Right. Um this let's play is not really a very important let's play. It's this is not a very popular game. In fact it's not a popular game at all. It's a Disney game, you can't expect much from it. But basically uh, it's uh just a little game. I'm doing to, this is basically a test let's play. It's not very. I would do a more f a more proper let's play, but this is just testing out if uh, people actually like this. So I continue. If this gets mostly positive feedback, I might as well just keep making more let's plays. If not, then I freaking stop because I don't have time for this crap. But if I didn't have time, I wouldn't be making this to begin with. But hey, you get the idea. Right, let's continue going. By the way, let me just play the controls. Left analog, left analog stick moves, seek. Right analog stick moves the camera, that's obvious. X jumps. Square does slide your basic button like this. It activates stuff. Right, we got something here. Mom the doll, handcrafted by Madame Leova to ward off evil to protect the bearer, the bearer from the, an untimely death. The bearer from an untimely death gives sick a permanent bravery boost. Basically, we this, this is health, extra health, and the right, circle does it makes the beacon of souls um, shine for a small amount of time. For whatever reason, triangle goes into shoulder view, and R1 shoots the attack button. Right, so if we leave it pressed, it just shoots normally. So it just goes in however many times you press it. You can shoot really fast, really fast, like that kind of fast. R2 uh, just moves the camera as well. So does Alt L2. L1 apparently just. Ah, uh, it's just like lock on mode or strafe mode, whatever you want to call it. And okay, there's a ghost. Alright. Uh oh! Fight off these evil spirits with a rapid shot by pressing the fire button. To attack a specific enemy, hold down the lock on button. L1 and R1, that's all you need to know. That works! Okay, they're dead now. Right! Let's go turn this... Okay, oh, hello, hello. Oof! I don't want to see your freaking faces, evil spirits. Anyone else? Yes! Someone has died! Alright, they're all dead now. Let's turn this on. Let there be light! It worked perfectly. Ah, oh, there we go. Now that the lights are on, you'll be less afraid. And your bravery measure will reflect this. Ah, so our health is bravery, not health. I guess it makes sense to an extent, but not too much. This is... Find shriveled souls by searching objects. Then, pull them into the beacon by holding down the soul collector button. You can find out how many shriveled souls are still hiding in a room by looking at the soul counter down on the lower left. 